Thirteen years after Dave revealed his pornography addiction, we're still learning new ways to communicate and connect with each other. Often we use handy little helps or sometimes acronyms to avoid the sticky traps and connect honestly with each other. These are mental checklists that we can go through. Uh, you know, we all have those, those days. You know what I mean. We, the interpersonal issues that come into our lives and they, they create prickles between us. And when we try to connect, we're like two porcupines who are just poking each other, but we're not really connecting and we need to find new ways to do that. It creates sparks between us. And sometimes those sparks are really good because they ignite a new passion, but sometimes those sparks aren't so good and they push us away from each other. Well, Gary Thomas in his book, Cherish, encourages you and me to go to war against those forces that break our connection. He calls this the war against contempt. In fact, Thomas describes uh, what happens in our lives when we become too familiar with each other. We, sh we, we realize that we're married to someone who's not perfect. Of course, we know we're not perfect, but somehow we expect our spouses to be perfect. And when we realize that that person is not perfect, it leads to a disappointment, which then Thomas says leads to frustration and then bitterness, and that results in contempt. And Thomas reminds us that before it becomes a marital issue, this is a spiritual issue. Well, I don't know about you, but I want to connect with Dave as our years deepen, as we spend more years together. And I want that connection to be deep and fulfilling, but I know that it doesn't happen magically and I know how quickly those connections can break. So Dave and I have to work at each at connecting and it, it takes continued care, nourishment and cherishing. Well, as I got to thinking about the word cherish, um, I wondered if I could break that word down into some bite-sized pieces that you and I could connect with. So in order to connect deeply with our spouse, we must cherish each, cherish each other through C, which stands for cherishing care. Thomas says to truly cherish, some, cherish something is to go out of your way to show it off, to protect it and honor it. I don't know about you, but that's how I want to be treated. And I think about a hand-painted small plate that's been a part of our, my family for many, many years. It's only about this big, but if you hold it up to the light, there's a translucent quality that just takes your breath away. It's so delicate and the skill of the painter and its preservation for the last hundred years causes me to cherish this dearly. Well, we understand the concept of cherishing things, but sometimes we forget that the most important things that we can cherish are relationships with each other. So what if you took that same level of mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual energy that we expend on these heirlooms, these things, and apply it to your spouse? What would change in you that would create a deeper connection? Well, H stands for healthy behaviors. Do you prioritize healthy behavior? Does your husband? Well, viewing pornography is not cherishing. When your husband watches porn, he breaks the connection with you. And the person that consume, that's consuming the porn places another person whom he objectifies in a place of the one he vowed to love, cherish, and protect. When two people practice cherish, they decide, decide to stay away from these risky behaviors that cause harm to the most important relationship. Instead, they choose to place a higher value on cherishing and caring that other person than they do meeting their lustful desires. So if you want to focus on a b building a deeper connection, you have to protect that relationship at all costs and you need to have healthy behaviors. E stands for expressing love through action. We all know talk is cheap, but actions actually sh shout your true feelings. When Dave and I began our recovery, we learned that Small, consistent acts of love and care extended to each other did more to build our trust than huge, showy things. Stephen Covey said that love is a verb. It's an act of the will, and nothing shows your husband's desire to change, to give up a pornography addiction, 
then, then these small acts that show love and connection, they're faithful acts of service toward you as a wounded spouse. R stands for reaching for reconciliation. All right, let's be honest. Every marriage struggles. And if someone tells you that their marriage doesn't struggle or that their marriage is perfect, they're lying because we're human. So every time we have a struggle in our marriage, instead of being surprised by that, we ought to be expecting it. But when there's been a wound or betrayal through porn addiction, both parties have to decide if they will reach toward each other or push away. And as long as that unresolved anger or grudges or continue, continue to rehash those issues remain, you continue to draw blood like those two porcupines who are trying to get close to each other. Honest acknowledgement of what's happened, what's going on, and the division in the marriage precedes your reconciliation. Call it what it is, and then find ways to agree to of the path to move forward toward healing. I stands for initiating forgiveness. Connection breaks when we lie to each other, betray, belittle, abuse, or ignore the other person. Too often I hear about these unresolved issues that have festered for years within a marriage, and each one rips wider the rift between you and your husband. Until you seek to bring healing and forgiveness to these wounds, forgiveness will elude you. Now again, forgiveness doesn't mean you wash it under the rug, and it doesn't mean that you trust the other person. We're going back to those healthy behaviors. Your trust is built one healthy behavior at a time. Often you may need to seek out professional help for that, and that's wise. If that's the case because you cannot come to a point where you're reaching toward each other, then do that. S seeks new ways to connect. Overcoming porn addiction means that you've got to go a different direction than the way you've been going. You have to get rid of the old habits. What got you in this position? So you need to change your routine. Find some new ways to connect, some new things that you both enjoy doing together. Begin dating again. Do something different. You have to break the old habit to start something new. This, the second H stands for honoring each other as much as, much as possible. Now, it might seem like a strange word to use right now, honoring, when we're talking about the connection. But when someone speaks about you with kind, thoughtful, and uplifting words, how do you feel? Think about the last time you struck out at your husband verbally. What happened between the two of you? Did his demeanor change? Did it push you apart or did it create connection? Well, imagine if you started speaking to him in ways that more, were more honoring. This is one of the things that I had to discover with Dave and to rebuild connection was that how I spoke to him and how I treated him encouraged him to draw toward me. And as he did that, and as he did those acts, those small acts consistently that showed me that I could trust him again, I was able to honor him more. You can't wait for the other person to start this. You need to be the one that initiates it. So today I'm choosing to connect with my husband. Yes, he wounded me, but each day now he's showing me that he is building trust with me every day. And the reason I can do that is because I chose to connect with my, my heavenly father, which is a relationship that's stronger than even my relationship with Dave. Well, if this sounds foreign to you and it sounds like you, you just can't figure out how to get there, I'd love to connect with you. You can hop over to my website at kirstendsamuel.com. That's K-I-R-S-T-E-N-D as in Diane, Samuel, S-A-M-U-E-L.com. Click that big blue button on the top right of the page. Let's sit down and talk. I'd like to be the hand that reaches out to you to help you decide how to reconnect. You and your husband can reconnect after pornography addiction. It does not have to be fatal but there are some steps that you need to take to begin cherishing each other today. Until next time.